Hello church, uh, this is Pastor Jeff here, and there's a great verse in 1 Chronicles 12, 32 that guided our conversation a year ago when I sat down with the church board and we were seeking God's face for the direction for the future of Ephri. It says that the men of Issachar, there were 200 leaders from the tribe with their relatives, and all of these men understood the sign of the times and knew the best course of action to take. And that's our prayer today. I'm pretty sure that the men of Iskar didn't have to deal with COVID-19, but I'm sure that they sh sought the wisdom of God in their trying times as well. Now I ask that you continue to pray for good wisdom for us as well. I know that many of you have heard that the Alberta government has relaxed the restrictions on churches significantly, and we are free to meet as long as we abide by their policies. Now, nobody saw this coming. We thought that it was going to be 50 and under for the rest of the summer. That's what we said. So we are figuring this out as quickly as possible. But I want to give you the overview and principles for the relaunch plan. The mission of the Evangelical Free Church of Lethbridge, you are familiar with, is that we want to love God, love one another, and love our neighbors so that people become passionately committed to hearing and obeying God and teaching others to do the same. That is not changing. This is going to guide our reopening as well, displaying the love of Christ to our community, and in particular to those who are at physical risk during this time is what guided us to close the facility, and as such, the protection and love of those people will guide us to our reopening. Jesus said, whatever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do unto me. And we want to serve these people as well. So the principles that we have for our relaunch are this. We anticipate through God's power that we are not only going to thrive during this time or survive during this time, but we are going to thrive. All plans for relaunching our physical gathering will reflect our desire to help people grow in their discipleship. One of the main values here at eFree is relationship, and we realize that fellowship and community are necessary for spiritual growth. We also seek to comply with the guidelines on physical gatherings provided by the Government of Alberta and Alberta Health Services. And we want to be nimble and adjust our plans as needed in response to the frequently changing guidelines for COVID-19. So we were going to present a chart with our stated re-entry plan today, but then these restrictions came off in a way that we weren't anticipating. So we are going to be nimble and adjust. And we will get back to you next week with a more specific plan about how we're going to reintegrate in-person worship services here at eFree. But let me dispel this notion that this will be like it was before. There are still going to be wise restrictions in place. Now I know there are conspiracy theorists that say the government is trying to control the church and what we do, but let me tell you that this is impossible. The government cannot control the church because the church is not a building, it's not a structure. You are the church. And Jesus says, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. At any time when the government has tried to control the church in the past, even via persecution, the church has flourished. And remember that the reason we stopped meeting in the first place was to make sure that we were not going to spread the virus to a vulnerable population. We love people. That's why we switched the form of ministry to what we have right now. Our goal is not just to survive, but to thrive. And myself and the board feel like we have done that, and we will continue to do this in the future to protect the people that we love, and this includes many of you. But ultimately, we are going to move forward with our vision, and Jesus is going to build his church. But I want to make you aware here that even though the government allows us to meet, and we will uh, in the near future here, there are still wise restrictions in place, such as singing. There is going to be no congregational singing. There will be music, but no singing. We won't have a children's ministry because for children, it's impossible to do social distancing. And our gathering sizes are limited by social distancing. So for instance, in our auditorium that seats 750 people, we will have approximately 200 people in there. Masks are going to be recommended, and afterwards we will engage in 
rigorous cleaning and sanitation protocols. But I want to uh, tell you ahead of time that the worship experience here will be very different from what it was like before. So just anticipate that. But we are going to come up with a new plan to help train and aid each and every one of you and the church to impact our city and the world. The church will not be hampered. It is going to, th it's going to thrive. And that is our goal. That's our vision. That's our hope. And that's our dream. So more to come on that next week. But I also want to take this time, too, just to let you know that uh, this reminder that our membership meeting is coming up here this Monday at 7 o'clock. It's open to everybody, but particularly I want each of our members to be there. See you Monday at 7 o'clock. I'm excited to talk future with you and look at our plans for budgeting this next year. God is up to something.